This is the flame test experiment. In preparation for this experiment, I have taken a beaker and I've put a salt solution and I've let uh, wooden splints soak overnight. And so allowing the wooden splints to soak overnight allows any of the salt particles to uh, be absorbed into the cells of the wood. Therefore, when we burn the wood, we're actually exciting the electrons uh, in those salts and we are seeing the uh, emission colors for those specific salts. To get started, you want to turn on your burner. So I'm turning on my gas source. I'm opening the bottom valve of my tyrol burner and I'm lighting it. I want to make the flame approximately seven to eight inches. I want to make it a non-luminous flame, so I don't want any orange. So I'm going to change the mixing ratio between the gas and the air by opening the chimney, getting a nice blue flame. I want to increase the temperature of my flame by continuing to add air, increasing the mixing ratio, so I get a nice inner blue cone. And if I listen carefully, I have a crackling noise. And so I want to then take my wooden splint that's been soaking my salt solution, and I want to place it right at the tip of that inner blue cone, which is the hottest part of the flame. And so uh, this stick has been soaking in lithium chloride. So this is a lithium salt, and we will do the flame test. And you can see that lithium forms a nice reddish orange color. The next salt that I have is barium chloride. So I'll put the barium salt. I get a nice orangish gold color. After that, I'll do my strontium salt. I get another orangish red color. For the next one, I have calcium. Here's the calcium flame test. Another orange color. The next one I have is copper chloride. I want to be careful because copper salts are toxic. Get a nice green flame for the copper salt. Next I have zinc. Zinc is a peculiar flame test because the the color of the emission is actually outside of our visible spectrum and we cannot see it, it is UV. And so when I do this flame test, it looks like the flame is just turning invisible. So I get no visible color from the zinc flame test. The next one is sodium. Nice orange color. And then the last one I want to do is potassium. So here's potassium. Potassium has a nice violet color. It's difficult to see because the orange kind of shields it out. And so what we could do is we could take a piece of cobalt glass and we could shield out the orange color. So I'll put this right in front of my camera and then I will do the flame test once more and you should be able to see that nice violet color from the flame test. Lastly, for this experiment, we should be able to identify an unknown. So this unknown is one that we've already done. So we have that nice gold color. And then I will run through these once more. I'm also going to film more closely so we could have um, another video to add on. Here is the lithium salt. This one is barium. Here is strontium.
This one is calcium. Here is copper. Here is zinc. This one is sodium. This one is potassium. Here is potassium with the cobalt glass. Here is sodium with the cobalt glass. And here is sodium without the cobalt glass. And then here is our unknown once more. So you should be able to identify the unknown.